Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. All right, things are moving right along. I got the first of the deliveries. I believe that is the Ulanzi UU rig cage for the new A7C. After I posted yesterday's video, I did get an email that said that the camera and the lens had shipped. Tracking wasn't active though until last night. Once I got that going on, it said that it'll be delivered tomorrow, Wednesday. Yay! So yeah, that will be here tomorrow in addition to, I believe, the Freewell UV filter for the lens, because I don't think that's coming today. Either way, I should, knock on wood, have everything tomorrow, and I will put it together and start shooting, yay! Today, earlier, I was sitting there thinking, okay, I took everything apart, for the A6600 setup. So a lot of the center rig had to be broken down because it was all attached to the cage that I was using for the A6600. Well, the more I thought about it, the more, I mean, although I like the way that all that is set up there, I'm not gonna have multiple cameras now. So I thought, hmm, how can I do this so that I'm not like having to unscrew all this shit and break it down every time I want to take it out. Because I mean, this is gonna be one of my primary filming cameras. I mean, you know that I don't shoot in studio every day. So I sat there and I looked at everything and then it all sort of came together in my devious little mind. And I went into the magical drawers and I pulled some pieces out. And what I'm going to do is most of the time I end up not selling the cages that I have with cameras. Most of the times I, end up just giving them away, you know, to whoever I sell the stuff to, or it gets thrown into a magical drawer. Since I do that anyways, I thought to myself, well, how can I set this up so that I basically have the cinema rig built out using the A6600 cage the way that it was before, but not having the camera attached to that whole getup so that I can do this easily. So I ended up finding one very simple piece it's basically just a flat piece of metal that has quarter 20 holes in them. And one of them actually has, uh, you know, like a little round handle, knob, whatever, that can then screw into the quarter 20 on the bottom of a camera. I screwed that into the plate that slides into the center rig, you know, main portion so that it sticks forward in front of that cage setup. And then I took one of my little Arca, like my little mini Arca clamp devices and screwed it into the other you know, the far end of that piece of metal so now the plate holds the piece of metal and the piece of metal holds an, an arca clamp which i can then use to slide the camera into however i had it set up for run and gun and that way if i do want to put it into the center rig all I have to do is take the camera off the ARCA clamp that's on the piece of metal that's on the plate, slide the plate out, and then just put the camera back in there, because it's got an ARCA plate, back under the center rig and clamp it down, and I'm good to go. Anyways, I will show you all that shit. I mean, it's pointless for me to sit here and describe it without showing you, but obviously I'm in the forerunner going out for a drive. For the most part, yay magical drawers. They've come through again, and I should be good to go. Now I'm gonna have to, I, I finally got admitted into the Sony sales group on Facebook. I'm gonna have to start taking pictures of all that shit and getting it up there and selling it. Another monkey wrench in my devious plans. I got my freaking Virginia Beach property tax bill yesterday and almost fell out of my damn chair. They're charging me $810.64 for having that forerunner. I mean, it is ludicrous it's robbery and it's extortion and it should go away. Like, it's so ridiculous. My wife got her bill, hers is three something for her RAV4. So every time I think I'm kind of getting ahead, you know, and I got money in the account, now I gotta piss away 800 bucks because of freaking, you know, that property tax. So that kind of pisses me off. You know, that, that's like one of the cameras, that's the sale of one of the cameras, you know, or, or whatever, that, that just takes that much more away from me. So, freaking, property tax bullshit. That is the one bad thing about being in Virginia Beach is that ridiculous property tax where they screw you, you know, because you dare own a car. Enough of the ranting. Okay, so it looks like a mess in here, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. And then I'm gonna show you what I talked about earlier, how I have this all set up and ready for when the A7C gets here and so on and so forth. So let me pull this off and show you what's going on. Well, first off, you can see here's the Ulanzi UU rig cage. Um, there's the screen protectors, 
and then the handle that I bought before for the A7 or the A6600, and then I've got my Peak Design plate waiting. Now what I did was I put all this stuff back together. So you can see I've got the A6600 cage. I changed the fitting up here so that uh, because I had one that had a NATO rail, and I put the NATO rail on and and put this uh, monitor holder whatever onto that. I put the side handles back on and then reattached the magic arm so that I could put the aperture light up there. But then here's what I was talking about as far as that piece of metal, the little uh, flat bar that comes out. It's screwed in up from the bottom with the screw that is usually mounted into the camera. So that it holds that in place. And then it comes up here and it has this little twisty knob to connect to whatever else. And I just put this ARCA clamp on here. So now uh, then this will just slide on and sit right there. So when I'm sitting here, it's pretty much at the same height that it would have been before I had to jury rig all this stuff up here. And I can just plug it into the Ninja 5, put the microphone in, and I'm good to go. And I've got my in-studio rig, which is still hooked up basically to the Cine rig setup. And then I can just pull it off and it's run and gun again. So it should be nice and easy for me to hook it up there and go then I've still got my cinema studio rig and it isn't like perfect because it's all jury rig but it, at this point in time it's all I need it, it's good to go so again I did get the cage I did get the screen protectors tomorrow I should get the camera and lens and the UV filter for the lens and I will be good to go I didn't have time to go to the chiropractor today which I definitely think I need to do because I think the problem is, is that my neck is just out of place and that's why I had such an awful headache yesterday and part of today. But I did enjoy myself at the uh, at Pleasure House Point and being outside and, and fresh air and all that stuff. It goes a long way to, to at least changing your, your attitude and so on and so forth. So that's that. And that's all I wanted to show you uh, kind of what's going on today in the interim until I get all the gear tomorrow and then I'll go from there. So at this point, that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.